Hi guys, welcome back to some more Last Epoch. I hope you're having a great day. There you are. I was wondering if you were going to show up. Oh, please. It was to get you prepped for this. Welcome to the war camp. That's a big thing in the background. Not just any great eagle. We're looking for one named Talon. She dumped me off the first three times I tried flying her back when I was selling weapons to the Ospreys. We want her specifically because she and I are familiar, and she'd likely still let me fly her. If we tried to hop on any other Great Eagle, they'd probably rip us to shreds. And I don't know about you, but I like being... unshredded. Don't look at me like that. This was years ago when they were far less... genocidal. I needed money at the time. How else was I going to stage a coup against the scale bay? Trust me, had I known they were going to go insane and start a war against everyone, I would have found my money elsewhere. Let's go thin their numbers a bit, shall we? Okay. Is that the goddamn eagle that he's on about? That eagle's fucking monstrous. What the shit? Oh, I walked straight into that one. One thing while I've been playing this campaign, I've still got zero idea. Still got no fucking idea how long of the, how much of the campaign's left. It's been such a good campaign that I don't care. You know, like when some games drag on, and you're thinking, "Fuck me, when's this gonna be over?" Because sometimes just like too much. This one, I haven't felt like that at all. Completely, and utterly enjoyed the game. And when the campaign's over. I'm just going to move on to the endgame stuff with uh, both my characters. Farm that for all it's worth, and then when I've got my complete builds, I might do some, like, um... I might do, like, a build guide video sort of thing on what, why I use this build, and how well my build works. What's that crumb one got? The big eagle there. And I know there's a way you can skip the game, like there's always a skip in Diablo 4 apparently, even though I never played the game. Um, even though if you played like Diablo 2, the game wasn't meant to be skipped. You were meant to play through the entire game. Because when you did normal mode, you basically went through the entire campaign again in Nightmare. So you'd got all the same bosses, just they were higher grade, did some type of um, like elemental based damage to you. And your resistance is against that, otherwise you're going to take a lot of extra damage. Um, and obviously they drop better loot, they drop better quality gear from the outset. The mobs in like Act 1 in Nightmare drop better gear than the things in Act 5 of Lord of Destruction in Normal. Um, And I, uh, ooh. No. 
Uh, so for me, running through the campaign, it, it's not a bad thing. It's not a chore. Um, obviously, like, you've got Path of Exile. I've got no skip on theirs at all. But Path of Exile, what's annoying is the game's overly complex. And every fucking rare mob has the ability to one-shot you. And while I'm not a fan of one-shots in general anyway, if they are going to one-shot you, it should be the big, like, end of an act boss. They should be the only ones that are allowed to one-shot you. Apart from that, it, it shouldn't be in the regular mobs at all. None of them should have the ability to one-shot you. Not just take you from literally 100 health to zero. I'm talking literal one-shot. But you don't, you don't even get time to hit a potion. You're just dead. It's not doing 90% of your health and you can try and heal. They just delete you. Um, so, like a skip on this game, I would never use a skip. If So, I'm only playing my Sentinel. If I decide to play like a third class or go back and make another spec for one of these two classes, I want to try something, you know, different and make a new character for a, a different particular build. I'm just going to go through the entire campaign again. Why? Because I enjoy the campaign. And when I played my first proper RPG, Diablo 1 and 2, that's how you played the game. There weren't skips in there. You, you don't need to put in skips if your game is good. And that's one thing I would praise PoE for. They don't have any skips. You've got to go back through the entire campaign. The problem with PoE is the game isn't as good as this or Diablo 2 purely because almost every fucking thing can one-shot you. It's too much. When everything can one-shot, th there's no bosses that are like truly scary that stand out because it's like, oh right, well that rare outside can one-shot me. Um, you know, or the boss in, at the end boss of Act 2 could one-shot me. So that then there's not not a big boss at like the end of Act 10 that makes them really special. Because you've been able to you've been suffering through that through the entire game. So then some of the bosses lose their that specialness that makes them like fuck me, they're terrifying. Example like um The second boss in Blackwing's Lair back in World of Warcraft back in the day. Veil of Stras the Corrupt. Um the uh, Four Death Knights at the end of Death Knight when you in Atramas, back in World of Warcraft in Classic. They were really, really strong by comparison to a lot of other bosses. Velostrats weren't really strong, I suppose. He had the lowest health pool of all the bosses in that particular raid. But it's the fact that he had an RNG mechanic with his um, burning adrenaline that could essentially wipe your raid if you run out of tanks. It was made him really hard to like try and predict because of the RNG mechanic. And that's why I like RNG mechanics in some bosses. I think one one boss in every rage have an RNG mechanic. Because it will give players that shit. Is this going to happen a little? Uh, like um, infrequent or frequent? Give you something to think about. If I relate it to ARPGs, the one boss that always gave me pause initially, especially when you're going for it in normal, was Act 2. Was a, was a I fucking know what was his name. <laughs> like you don't. Well, uh, it's been a few years. If she doesn't remember me, well, we're not in for a good time. On top of that, I never liked heights. Hey, plummeting thousands of feet may be a good time for you, but I prefer to have my own two feet on the ground. Let's hop on. Try not to fall off. All we got to do is steer Talon towards the temple and she should take care of the rest for us. I've got a steer. Um, Juriel. Juriel, the um, last boss of Act 2. Juriel, the last boss of Act 2. I'll be funny, but this, this, this bird, this great eagle, is bigger than Ryan. So why is Ryan more of the skies when he's tiny by comparison? Because when he, when he attacked Hera, it went anywhere near the size of this fucking thing. This thing should be like seeking right out as prey. Huh? They, they shut down my pigeon? Well, the 
that wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, this is where we part. For now, at least. You have yourself a giant snake to catch, and I have a coup to continue. I'll be headed for the temple's gates and letting in a few hundred of my closest friends. Splitting up is the best way of going about it. I wouldn't be a ton of use to you, but I can move way faster when I'm not worried about you. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you after your chat with Majassa. You'll be one step closer to your goals, and I'll be about 20 steps closer to my own. Watch yourself out there. What's that thing we got as well? We've got, got a key don't we? Solve and go This is the one in tip with the uh Is that the one? That's a different dungeon. That is a different dungeon. Now what that is. That's a soul fire bastion comes out. Got a temporal sanctum there. That's soul fire bastion. There's lightless arbor. Is there only three dungeons? Temporal Sanctum, Lightless Arbor, Soulfire Bastion. Looks like there's only three. So it must be one per three of these main eras, essentially. So you've got the Lightless Arbor, the Soul Fire Bastion, and the Temporal Sanctum. I've done Lightless Arbor. I've, I've still got to complete the Temporal Sanctum, so I got killed by that weird mechanic that I didn't even know what the hell we're doing. And then Soul Fire Bastion, I've just got the key for now. <laughs> but it does say Soul Furnace is level 90. So while I can do these two parts, there's no fucking way I can do that. I have to be... I would probably guess I've got to be at least level 80-ish. To even have any chance at that. And even then the odds will still be stacked against me. Why? The snake thing is screaming at me, why? You're, you're attacking me. It's kind of your own fucking fault. He's a tanky bitch. Why are you dying? Never named called something of the ox. Probably them tougher.
So, if we're going to see this, like, second god in the tree now, this is Ray is moving against. If Ray kills this other god, this giant snake bitch, and then we kill Ray, really that only leaves one god left then, which is Lagon. So Lagon's then going to be the sole god on this planet. And obviously, Primella resides just in the water, in the ocean. I mean, he just call him the Storm God. So maybe also some influence with storms, but... I'm guessing more so storms at the ocean. Up upon the sea. Revive themselves. The Arch Death Knight. Or the Arch Death Knight. You don't pronounce the H really even anyway. We've got like Archangel, Archmage. Although the Mage sometimes you do pronounce Archmage. It's kind of weird. I wish they had changed the name slightly for like Death Knight and called it like Master Death Knight. Gaining much now. I have all the servants of these gods going to be so fucking aggressive. Poison on hit, no. Not for my um, flame bin. He needs fire. All the fire and ignite is what he needs. Yeah, 
Isn't it a problem when um, the god they serve doesn't come to help them out? Fucking useless gods. I've got no idea where I'm going, by the way. I've got no guide, so I've got no clue. And I've got no quest marker, so I'll... I've got a fog is where the fuck I'm going, which top I'm going the right way. speed, 60% increased health on top of that, oh my god. How much fucking health? Yeah, that's not as good. So the weird thing is though as well, if this guy I've been helping will become the leader of the scale If he is the spy master's enemy. So he gains all this power but then becomes the spy master thinking and essentially one of the bitches to the immortal emperor guy. Throw a Zail. You're like a boss guy. Mm, just got insta killed by the zombie. He's blow the damage to their shoulder. How much wood retention does my uh, intelligence give me? 4% wood retention. I see what I can do is as well. I know I want to probably put a couple more points into that. I don't want to put loads in there. I don't want to max it out for certain. But I want to put a couple more into it. But I can also look at maybe putting some into that. Because it'll give me 10 intelligence. And then it's going to give me 20% increased mana regen as well. And then for each point of intelligence, I get 4% um, wood retention. Matron of the Hawk. Did she run away? Not a clue what happened to that um, big snake chick up there. I saw like a beam of light come down. Either she got saved or she got splattered. No 
Those are your last words. Well, what I'll do is, since I'm at the upper temple now, I will leave this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe. The playlist link will be near the top of the description. I will catch you guys all in the next video. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.